Hey guys, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? You see, girl, you see me with the French. You see me with the French. Yes, me. So today I'm actually gonna do a video that's quite close to my heart, I guess. I've had a couple people in my DMs or in my messages just asking me how I sound or how I am so confident on YouTube. And so I decided to do a video and this video is based on my insecurities and how I became the person I am and how I became confident because it did not I was not born like confident trust me I was the opposite I was the opposite I was the opposite I just wanted to show from my experience how I moved on and how I became more confident within myself I ain't gonna cry in this video but if you see a tear it's because I mean, there's probably onions around somewhere, like at the shops in my kitchen, you know? So I'm crying because of that. It's not, it's not, yeah, I'm a gangster, I don't cry. <laughs> Basically, if you've seen my previous video, if you haven't watched it, but if you've seen my previous video, I have my afro hair out. If you see me on Twitter, I've probably, you've probably seen a picture of me with my afro out, oh, whatever. I haven't always had an afro, I used to have relaxed hair. I have nothing against people who relax their hair, it is your choice, okay? It's your choice, but personally, I don't like relaxed hair. Now, now, take that into account. When I was younger, like in secondary school, I went to predominantly white secondary school, I was the only fully black person in my year group, okay? So every single girl I saw had long, straight hair, long, wavy hair and if it weren't long it was silky, if it weren't long it was straight, if it weren't long it was wavy. So I went through a period of time where I didn't know how to react to that, I was put into this env environment where everyone had this long hair, this straight hair, probably like type 1 or type 2 hair, okay? I did not have that. I'm a black girl, I didn't have that. So I obviously resorted to relaxer and I wasn't relaxing like normal people did. I relaxed my hair every like two months, which is probably a bit excessive and I would wait till it burnt. I would have relaxer burns in my hair. It would be bleeding when I scratched it just for the sake of long straight hair. I feel like what I didn't realise at that time is I didn't need to fit in. And that was what I was attempting to do. I was attempting to be like them. And I have nothing against those people, beautiful people. But I don't look like you. Why am I trying to look like you? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to cry, but why am I trying to look like these people that don't look anything like me? Why are they in my standard of beauty? That was what was wrong with me. This blonde girl who was tall and skinny was my standard of beauty when I wouldn't be able to accomplish that. I shouldn't need to be able to accomplish that to be beautiful. And I shouldn't know in my own right that I am beautiful the way I am, but I didn't. How did I overcome that? I feel like for that, for hair specifically, I kind of looked online and I had to look at people who looked like me. Um, because at this point, yeah, I was just in an environment with nobody who looked like me. And people who were black were mixed race and had really loose curls. I'm not like that. I have tight curls. Period. I don't care. I have period, mofo, tight curls. What you gonna do? You know? So I had nothing to aspire to. I had nothing that inspired me. Um, and I was equating beauty to these people who looked nothing like me. I basically went on Instagram, I went online, and I saw loads of beautiful black women and I was like, I want to be like them. I am like them, but I'm pretending to be something else. And I had to look at myself and be like, why am I trying to be something else? Why do I, why do I so desperately inside of me need to fit in? Why do I need to fit in? Why is beauty equated to them and not to you? And that's what I looked at. I was like, 
why should my beauty be dependent on how somebody else perceives me? Because I need to look in the mirror and look at myself and be like, I'm actually a boss. And that's what I did. I stopped relaxing my hair. I went natural. And period, as you see in that video, I love my hair. Period. I hated my skin tone and I hated my body. I would go to parties and I would be having fun. I would leave the party and hear someone shout monkey at me. Or I'd leave an event. This is when I was in like year 10, so it's a bit nasty, I'm not gonna lie. I'd leave an event, right? And they would now discuss whether they can say the N word. So you, you didn't wanna discuss it when I was there. Okay. <laughs> I had guys say I've got a moustache, bitch. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've had all this jazz thrown at me at such a young age. So here I am. Um, this person's called me a monkey. This person said my I've got a drop lip. This person um is calling me the N word. This person saying I look like this. I'm fourteen or fifteen. And I'm hearing this every single day or every single weekend when I left a party. Or none of the guys like me because, first of all, they're all white. And secondly, they all like white girls. So I'm not their standard of beauty. Fine. I'm not beautiful to them. And I felt I'm ugly. No one likes me. Everyone thinks I'm a monkey. Everyone says I've got a drop lip. My mouth's too big. All this. So I'm hearing all of that. And now I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm not beautiful. That's honestly, I would say that. Like, that makes me feel so sick, Adele. And I wanted to change. I didn't want to be myself, but I thought I was overweight. Never was overweight. I looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, I don't look like this person. I was pulling my... um tummy I was like oh I've got this stomach fat I've got this I was putting myself into a cup boot a cup boobs a cup bras and it wasn't a cup I feel like how I got over that took years I felt like the duff I felt like the ugly friend I don't know how I got over that but I did um I did so my main, it's not even tips, it's just my experience to getting over stuff like this, is you need to think about you, you get what I mean? And yeah, I'm placed in this situation, but it depends how I react, because at the point before, I was reacting as if I was the ugliest person in the world, I was reacting as if I wasn't good enough, but what if I am good enough? What if these people just don't know? What if these people just don't know that I'm actually the best? I'm the best. Okay, like, what if these people just don't know? What if just because you don't fit in doesn't mean you're not beautiful? I was thinking, I was like, wow, like, this is actually the tea. This is actually the tea. What, just because I don't fit in to Western society standards doesn't mean I'm not beautiful. And what if the people that don't fit in are beautiful? What if I can look at myself and instead of pointing out all the negative things which I was doing, oh, my hair's not straight enough, uh, my lips are too big, pointing out all negative stuff instead of me saying, I've got this beautiful black skin, I like my nose, I'm not gonna lie, I'm cute or whatever with my nose. I love the lips that you said you hated. I love them. So, what are you gonna do about it? This body that you said, was too fat. This body that you said was ugly because it didn't fit your standards, I love it. And I feel like we need to look at ourselves and be like, I see the beauty in me. You're the one who sees yourself every day. Not, not your friend, not your boyfriend, not your mum. You're the one who has to look in the mirror every day. So you need to actually love yourself. Ain't nobody gonna love you like you love yourself. And so I just had to look deep into myself. I had to pick out the positives and I had to focus on me. I wasn't trying to be like these other people. Black girls, you're queens. 
don't let people force you into a box like do not let people force you into that ah i hate it be whoever you want to be look in the mirror and you have to be proud of yourself and you look in the mirror you have to be happy with yourself nobody's gonna love you the way you love you nobody's gonna be happy for you the way you're happy for you nobody's gonna go through this journey of life the way you're going through that journey you have known you for the longest the love we have for ourselves is the realest love out there it's the rawest it's the purest form of love out there i think that's how i overcame it and i don't know if that's any bit helpful but I just wanted to share my experiences. Stop trying to be people you can never be. Fit yourself into your own body because you're trying to be someone else. You're trying to encompass another person's body or not look good. It's not a good look. And I'm not saying just on the outside, but inside it's draining you and it's tearing you apart. Just be you. Just be happy with you. Learn to face you. Look in the mirror every day and be like, I am that girl or I am that guy. I am that person and nobody can tell me anything. Whatever I do, I know who I am. I think that's so important. So encompassed in other people's lives. We're so encompassed and busy in ourselves that we don't take the time to look into ourselves. And I think that's very important. So yeah, I think if you guys want any more tips, like actual practical tips, let me know. Because I actually liked doing this video even though I got a bit emotional, but I'm fine. I'll always be fine. So let me know. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. If you liked this video, please like it. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on the road to 200 subscribers. And yeah.